Hey guys, it's Ella Frankenstein here, and I'm coming at you from, well, this isn't my bedroom, so I can't say that, but I am sleeping here for about a week. Uh, I'm at, in NY, New York, if you didn't know that. That would be really weird if you didn't know the abbreviation for New York. Especially um, if it's like What did you just say? I'm FaceTiming Lexi. Lexi, say hello to my people. Hello. <laughs> anyway, so I'm FaceTiming Lexi right now, but today we are going to be doing sixth, as she said, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade makeup or middle school makeup. And I'm going to do more of the natural kind of looks and what I do. Okay, so for 6th grade, I'm using this Ben Nye powder, and it is stage makeup, and I am using this brush from Forever 21, and, okay, so the stage makeup was because I was doing a play, and I had the stage makeup handy, and it actually did the job, and you're not supposed to use it on an everyday basis because you you would break out. But I didn't, so, I mean, it worked out for me. And then I am taking a professional blending brush, and I am using this e.l.f. palette that was um, designed, kind of, to my skin. And um, I am taking the lightest color for the all-around base. Then I am putting the second lightest color on just my lid. And then I am taking a smaller brush, again from Forever 21. And I am just putting that for my crease. And then I took the darkest color, and I am using that as eyeliner. And I didn't really like using eyeliner in 6th grade, so... I'm using the eyeshadow instead because it does leave a little bit of a darker tint, I guess. Next, I am taking this e.l.f. Bl 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 blush, and I love this blush. And then I'm taking this Miss Manga or Miss something like that, and I have mascara and just to add a bit of and I love this look, and it is very natural and very 6th grade, and you don't need anything big for 6th grade, and yeah, let's go. Alright, so for 7th grade, I'm using this cover stick by NYC, and um, that's kind of funny because I'm in NY right now. Anyway, and uh, I'm just putting it in my trouble areas, I guess, then I'm taking an e.l.f. professional foundation brush and just... Blending that out. Blending, blending, blending. Blending it into my skin. And then I am adding a bit of a pop of color to my face because right now I look washed out. So I... Oh god. I'm taking the same blush as I used for 6th grade and putting that on. Then I'm taking this Ellen Tracy eyeshadow quad and this e.l.f. professional blending brush. And I'm putting the lightest color all over my lid, the second to lightest color just on my lid, and then I am taking the third lightest color, I guess, and I am putting it in the middle part of my lid and beyond. And then I am taking the darkest color, tapping it on my hand a few times, and then putting it on the outer edge. This just gives it a bit of a darker feel and more of a pop, I guess. And so, yeah. And then I am adding some eyeliner. Now, I don't really know why I did eyeliner, but I did eyeliner. So I took the darkest color and I just put it on the edge of my eye. So I don't really know why I did this. And then I took the lightest color I could find and put it on the inner corner of my eye. Again, don't know why I did this. Yeah, woo! And then I'm taking the same mascara and I am putting it on my eyelashes. And then I am adding this baby lips smoothing balm, lip balm stuff on my lips. And I am adding 
a bit of a color. So I'm using a Madly Matte Lip Gloss. This is lip gloss. And I am just putting it on my lips just to add like a bit of color. I keep saying pop of color. Like I think I'm saying it way too much. But yes. So this is the completed 7th grade look. It's a bit darker and I really like this look. It is super cute. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. A bit of a disclaimer, the 8th grade makeup does use the same face makeup so as the 7th grade. So the cover stick and the, the blush, I just added a bit of powder. So I just felt like that wasn't really useful to film because, I mean, you already know it, so why would I film it? Alright, so for 8th grade, it is a bit darker, but I'm using this Pro Vision Eyes Palette. So I'm taking this really light shade, and I am just putting it all over my eyeballs. And then I'm taking a bit of a darker shade, and I'm just putting it all over the lid. And then another darker shade in the middle, and the outside. Now these shades are a bit different, like they're darker, that's why I use this Pro Vision one, not the Ellen Tracy, but it is the same look as 7th grade, just a bit darker. So, again, the outer corner and the crease, just fill those in. Yeah. Then just cleaning up the edges. All right. So, now I am taking a mascara and doing my eyelashes, but I'm not going to do it because I have to take it off later, so yikes. But I'm taking this Baby Lips Lip Balm like I did last time, and I'm putting it on. Then I'm taking the Madly Matte Lip Gloss, and I'm putting it on one more time. But this shade is a bit darker, and I like that because... You, for 8th grade, you want to look good while doing your homework and eating lunch and that kind of stuff. So next I'm taking the same Pro Vision thing and I use this to shade in my eyebrows a bit. And it's the darkest shade, yes. So I did shade in my eyebrows just a little bit. Woo! So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed that video because I did not. I had to wipe my face and then do it again and wipe my face again and do it again and, <laughs> and that's a lot of work in my books. I'm lazy. <laughs> Could have been watching YouTube videos but I I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was super fun to make, actually. And I am still FaceTiming Lexi, which all you can see is her in a juice box right now. Yo! So, I'm still FaceTiming her, so she stuck around for most of the time while I was being annoying and not talking at all, which is good. By the way, guys, if you have to fill in your eyebrows any day because you don't like the way your eyebrows look, go for it. If you have a specific brand that you like, go for it. You don't have to stick exactly in these guidelines. I'm just giving you guys some ideas and like what my sister and what I would be doing. By the way, um, eighth grade is supposed to be getting a little with the darker makeup. Wow. This is smart. I'm just brushing my hair out. It is supposed to be getting with a bit of darker makeup. So don't be killing me in the comments that, oh, that is not good for school. If it's not good for school, don't wear it. If this lipstick is too dark for your school, don't wear it. If your eyebrows can't be filled in for school, don't fill them in. Um, this is just a guideline, and don't ask me why everybody wears darker makeup in 8th uh, grade, but um, it's just what everybody's doing, and you just feel like you have to do it too, because if you're wearing this light makeup, everybody's going to be like, she's not wearing makeup? Oh my god. But you don't have to change yourself because you are beautiful just the way you are. And I will still love you anyway. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more makeup tutorials. Comment down below some video ideas. And um, subscribe because I make every videos. I make new videos every... 
Oh yeah, I don't okay. have a schedule. So I filmed this video way before I made a schedule, and that schedule is every Saturday and Wednesday I post. Now that might change, and I might change that around when school comes around, and I get into the groove, but it still might be the same, and yeah, I filmed this before I made the schedule, so yeah. <laughs> And I love you guys so, 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 so much. And thank you for watching. And stay beautiful. You don't need to change yourself for anybody. And you don't need to wear makeup to school. You can just walk around naked-faced because you are beautiful just the way you are. Love you all so much. Bye!